Hello, I welcome all of you in the second part of the green skills that is sustainable development and green economy. So first of all, we are going to learn what is sustainable development. But before learning sustainable development, we must discuss Brundtland report. See, this report is commonly known as our common future and it was published in 1987 by World Commission. Okay on environment and development to introduce the concept of sustainable development. So what we came to know sustainable development this term was used by World Commission for the first time in the report that is our common future. Now what is sustainable development as you can see over here this is a wind turbine right according to the Brundtland report sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs okay it means using the environment using the natural resources without harming it so that our upcoming generation the future generation they can meet their own needs okay this is sustainable development for example a wind turbine as you can see here this is a wind turbine so so first of all we are going to discuss how it works then you will come to know how it comes under sustainable development so first of all let's talk about the working of the wind turbine how does it work see wind power involves converting wind energy into electricity okay by using wind turbines right so what we are using we are using actually wind power and it is then converted to electricity how see a wind turbine usually has three rotors okay these are the three rotors okay the rotor is attached to a tall tower okay this is a tower as you can see here now the wind make the rotor spring as the rotor spins the movement of the blades drives a generator that creates energy okay the motion of the blades turning is kinetic energy okay and it is this power that we convert into electricity now we should know that a wind turbine creates reliable cost effective and pollution free energy as you can see there is no pollution okay it is affordable clean and sustainable at the same time sustainable as you know it is not harming the environment now sustainable development includes the following first reducing excessive use of resources and enhancing resource con conservation okay it reduces excessive use of natural resources and what it does it enhance resource conservation for future generation next recycling and reuse of waste material this is sustainable development scientific management of renewable resources especially bio resources okay this is sustainable development then planting more trees this is sustainable development using more environment friendly material or biodegradable material and use of technologies which are environmental friendly and based on efficient use of resources so this falls under sustainable development now let's talk about the goals of sustainable development the sustainable development goals are also known as the global goals okay and these are a universal call to action to end poverty protect the planet and ensure that all people enjoy peace and prosperity so you must know the sustainable development goal goals were launched at the united nations sustainable development summit in new york in september 2015 so I hope you understood what is sustainable development and what are the goals of sustainable development and we understood with the help of an example also using the example of wind turbine. Now come to the next topic that is green economy. Okay, so the, the term green economy was first coined is 1989 report for the government of United Kingdom by a group of leading environmental economists entitled blueprint for, for a green economy so this term green economy was used for the first time over here blueprint for a green economy 
Now, what is green economy? Uh, the green economy is defined as economy that aims at making issues of reducing environmental risk. So the green economy reduces environmental risk and ecological scarcities. What is scarcities? Scarcities means shortage and that aims for sustainable development. Green economy aims for sustainable development without degrading the environment. So using green economy means we are protecting our environment. You can also define green economy as a green economy is a system which helps in economic growth while at the same time taking care of environment. Okay, as you know, economic growth is very important, but economic growth with taking care of the environment is called green economy. Now components of a green economy. Before going through component, we must understand what is green consumer. See, a green consumer is a someone who is very concerned about the environment and therefore only purchase products that are eco-friendly or environmental friendly. That is green consumer. So you must become green consumer. So let's talk about components of a green economy. The first is renewable energy as we have learned this in the previous video. Renewable energy, renewable energy from renewable resources like wind, power, sun, earth, biomass, etc. are available in large quantities and cause less pollution. So that is why it, it is a component of a green economy. And the next is green building. What are these? Green buildings are buildings that cause minimum damage to the environment during their construction and operation. Right. They use energy, water and other resources wisely with minimum waste. And the third one is well managed transport or sustainable transport. What is this? Sustainable means what is good for the economy as well as the future of the environment. And a sustainable transport system will cause less help more people to move quickly and cause less or no damage to the environment. As you must have heard about sharing of the vehicle means when you are moving or going to your office. So you can share the transport with two or three other people instead of using your own transport or own car, right? That is sustainable transport. Next is water management. We need to avoid water pollution and not waste water, right? We should not waste water. Rather, we should recycle it for various purposes. And the next is waste management. This all we have learned in the previous video. Okay. What is waste management? All waste result in loss of resources and increases land, water and air pollution. As you know, you can prevent this by separating waste before throwing using the three R's as we have studied in the last video. Reduce, reuse and recycle. Okay. That will help in managing waste material. So I hope you understand what is green economy, what are the components of green economy and what is sustainable development. And I hope you are going to take care of environment for the betterment of our future generation. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.